Today we're going to take a look at this iFootage TA3B, which is a really exciting new travel tripod made by iFootage. And if you know anything about iFootage, you know that everything they make is just super top notch in terms of quality, usability, and the feature set. I've really enjoyed getting to check this tripod out for the last few weeks. Now iFootage did send me this TA3B for purposes of making this video, but they've not paid me to say anything and they've not even previewed this content. All the thoughts on this are my own and let's get right into this tripod review. So when you look at the TA3B, you'll notice that it's pretty compact overall, but it doesn't sacrifice anything in terms of the amount of strength it has or the usability. I love that the legs are able to just pull out like this and you can easily unfold them. Or if you want to put the tripod at a lower angle, you can also just pull on these little red levers. Then you're able to adjust the legs even further. There's no center column on this as well, so you're able to fully spread all the legs and get it super flush to the ground for those low angle shots. You get standard lever locks on this tripod and all the levers feel really great. They have this nice taper to them, so it's designed to be really compact in a suitcase. And you even get this built-in fluid head on the top as well. What's nice is if you don't want to use the fluid head, you can take it off and put a ball head on. But iFootage has put in their signature feature in this tripod, which is the ability to level this mini bowl mount. So you can take this knob on the side and loosen it, and then you're able to completely level out the top of the tripod, and then you just lock it in place whenever you're done leveling it. Then what's super nice is you're able to just pan and use this fluid head on top and get really smooth shots with your smaller camera. This tripod does hold a weight of up to about 11 pounds. It seems like the fluid head is probably the reason for the lower weight capacity because the legs honestly feel really durable. They are a little bit thinner than some other tripods that I have like my iFootage TA6B, but they feel really good and whenever you unbox it, you're immediately gonna be really impressed with just how high quality this whole tripod feels. It is aluminum, but it's still really compact and really lightweight. This tripod weighs about three and a half pounds and it has an 11 pound load capacity. They also make this tripod in a carbon fiber version too. So if you want, you can get that, save a little bit on weight and it's a little bit smaller, but you do sacrifice the maximum height that the TA3B has to offer. This goes all the way up to 59 inches at the maximum height and it's 21 inches long when you have it closed with the head folded down. And iFootage is even kind enough to give you a little travel bag as well to keep this safe whenever you're traveling with it. It's the perfect size to throw it in luggage or in the side pocket of your backpack so it's really easy to travel with the TA3B. But honestly when I've used it I haven't really felt like I'm sacrificing anything except for sometimes you do miss the vertical column that some other tripods have so you can quickly adjust the height. Honestly the leveling feature is really useful because you don't have to mess with the lever lock in order to level the tripod out. This levering makes it so much faster. You also get a hook on the bottom of it where you can attach your backpack or some other form of weight to keep the tripod a little bit more stable. You will notice that the smaller legs are a little bit thinner on this tripod, but I haven't had any issues with setting it up all the way and feeling like it was gonna be flimsy. And even though the fluid head is really compact, it's a great fluid head that has a couple cool features built in. But I will say my biggest complaint about the fluid head is the fact that this handle is just fixed in one way. You can't unthread the handle or even unscrew it from the side. So whenever you wanna store this tripod, you just fold the head down and you're able to get it out of the way, lock it in place, and that's gonna make the tripod its most compact. A Couple other features of the tripod, you are able to pull off these little rubber stoppers to unveil the spikes beneath it, which is really great for shooting outside. You twist and pull at the same time and you're able to get the spikes out. So the spikes are really useful if you're shooting outside or on uneven terrain. The only con is you have to keep track of these little rubber feet, so don't lose them whenever you take them off. But they pop on a lot easier than they come off. So you can just push it back on like that, and then you're ready to go with the rubber feet back on again. One last feature of the tripod itself, there is a quarter 20 thread on the side, which is really useful for attaching a magic arm. So you can use that to hold a camera monitor or other accessories on the side of the tripod. I really love how with this tripod, the legs just come out super easy. You don't have to mess with any twist locks like you do on other tripods. Also, the fluid head does store this small Allen wrench on the side. So you get one side of the Allen wrenches for attaching the quick release plate to your camera. And the other side actually is the screw for tightening up your lever lock. So in case these ever get loose, you've got the tool always ready for you to go to tighten those up. Let's talk a little bit about this fluid head. So they do use an Archetype quick release, which is kind of interesting. This plate is just a little bit longer than it needs to be for the head. So that allows you to attach your camera and you can counterbalance the fluid head by pushing it forward or backwards just a little bit. It is an Archetype plate. You have a couple controls on the fluid head. You get this one to tighten down your tripod plate. And then you also get the screw to adjust your tilt and you get the screw to adjust the pan on the tripod head too. I found I'm able to use this with my cameras that have the camera cage on it and use the Arca plate. The thing that's a little bit annoying though is your camera ends up going on it sideways. So if you're trying to pan, it's kind of weird because the bar gets kind of close to your camera on the cage. So I find if you want to use a camera and pan with this, you definitely want to use their plate or else you want an Arca plate on the bottom. 
not one of the sideways ARCA mounts that you find on an L bracket or a small rig cage. You want to use this plate because it's going to allow you to counterbalance it and it's going to make your handle in a more comfortable position for panning with it. I love that iFootage gives you markings on the side of it so you can easily see if you're just adjusting it ever so slightly to counterbalance it. In the bottom of the tripod plate has one of the hex head screws that also has a slot for a screwdriver or a coin. Super easy to set your camera up. All you got to do is put it on top, loosen your ARCA plate and then tighten it and you're ready to go. You can easily level out the camera just by using the bowl mount. When your camera is ready to rumble, you're able to easily use it and pan it. Now, I do have a couple small complaints when it comes to this system. I love the bowl system for being able to quickly level out the camera, but one con is there's no set screw to attach it to your tripod head. So you need to make sure you really thread the head on tightly before you start to pan with it. And then when you pan, you want to make sure that you have the panning lever loosened. If you have the panning tightened on this and you start to twist it to the left to pan, you're actually just going to unthread the fluid head. But honestly, I think it's worth the trade-off because the bowl mount is so easy to use. And to me, the panning is more of a bonus feature that this has. Most of the time, you're not going to be looking for a fluid head in a tripod of this size. Most of them are just going to come with a ball head, so you're not even going to be able to get those smoother shots. Another feature I do really like about this is you're actually able to point the head all the way down at a 90 degree angle. So if you want, you can put the plate on sideways and you're able to shoot vertically on this really easy too. It can also go up to 83 degrees whenever you point it up, so it can't go quite straight up, but it can go get you that perfect 90 degree angle down, which is great if you want to get top down style shots and you're using something smaller that you can fit directly under the tripod. iFootage is also nice enough to include a travel case with this as well. So this is honestly designed for people who are going to be on the go a lot, who need a setup that's a little bit more compact than a setup like the TA6S that I have my main camera on right now. And this is going to give you more stability than using it with a monopod. I do really love my iFootage monopods, but I find there's a lot of times that I do still really like having the tripod, especially when I'm not able to keep my hands super close to the camera at all times. There's just a special place in my heart for the tripod due to the stability and reliability of it. So overall, I've really enjoyed using this iFootage TA3B. Love the built-in Komodo K3 head, how easy it is to use. This iFootage TA3B is very well built. It feels really lightweight. I have no problems recommending this to anyone who's shooting photos or videos, and I love having that compact fluid head that's just included for free on it. This tripod setup does come in at about $170 for the aluminum version, or you can get the carbon fiber version of it for a little bit more money. I think the carbon fiber typically goes for about $230. So buy the TA3B aluminum tripod if you want the tripod that's a little bit longer and is going to feel a little bit heavier duty than the carbon fiber one. Buy the carbon fiber one if you want to save a little bit on both size and weight. It's not going to be able to get quite as tall as the TA3B version though. If you're interested in buying this iFootage tripod, I do have links in the description below. If you have any other questions about it, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content.